Oh, coach, my energy sucks. This is one of the questions that I get people is how can they get their energy back? And so today, guys, I'm going to tell you three ways that you can get your energy back and you can start feeling good. But before we do that, guys, give the video a like, hit the subscribe button, and let me know in the comments, what do you do to give yourself an energy boost? So number one is that you don't need a rest day. You might need more sleep. Number two, did you drink your coffee today? And number three, what's your routine like? So number one, I would tell you that you don't need a rest day where you need a day off from the gym. You might need a nap, but more importantly, you're probably lacking in sleep. So most of us have these smartwatches and these smartwatches actually track your sleep if you're wearing it overnight. So what you need to do is look at your app and look at how many hours of sleep that you're getting over a seven day period. And your goal at the bare minimum should be six hours. So if you're getting less than six hours, your body is totally not functioning properly and it's going to energy suck you because what it wants to do is put you to sleep. So I know it's one of the toughest things and everybody kind of avoids sleep like the plague. You would rather me tell you some kind of food hack that's going to help you get more energy or some kind of supplement that you can take that's going to give you more energy. But ultimately, it's going to come down to how much rest or how much sleep are you actually getting? Number two, did you have your coffee today? So the one thing that we have to understand is coffee doesn't give us energy like food. Food like carbs, when you consume them, what happens is it breaks down and then it releases the calories from the food so that you then have the energy to do whatever you want to do, whether it be walking, talking, or working out. What coffee does, it actually just blocks out the sleepy receptors. But when you block out these sleepy receptors, more get produced. So then you require more caffeine to block out more of the receptors. I know people that can drink a cup of coffee right before they go to bed and they have no effects on them. I take a sip of coffee because I don't drink a lot of coffee. I, I barely have anything that's caffeinated outside of my tea. And I'll have a cup of coffee and I'm like flying. I have the best workout. But immediately after, I'm exhausted because my, I had such a huge spike. And then I'm tired for the next two or three days. So what we need to do is we need to decrease our tolerance. So yes, hey, you could drink three or four large coffees and not feel effective. But guess what? That's not good. Imagine somebody said to you, oh, I can drink two or three bottles of vodka and I don't get drunk. <laughs> like we have an issue there, okay? Coffee could be the issue as to why your energy sucks. Your tolerance is way too high. You're abusing coffee. So what you need to do is start taking out. If you're doing five or six cups a day, do five and a half cups a day and then one cup of tea. Then go to five cups of coffee, one cup of tea, and then just start to limit the amount of caffeine that you're consuming because these sleepy receptors are being blocked, but these sleeping receptors are also overproducing, making your energy suck. Number three, your routine. Is your routine off? Now, Monday through Friday, we have great sleeps. We're in bed by 10. We're up at five in the morning. So we have a routine Monday through Friday, but then Saturday you decide to stay up till 2 a.m. And then maybe you eat food that's not normally on your diet. Maybe you have your bottle of wine or whatever it is, but all of these things are affecting your sleep patterns. Now, these three things, so your sleep, your food, and then you're adding alcohol to the mix, guess what? Your routine is completely off and the body always wants to create balance. So if you've consumed a bunch of stimulants or you stayed up way later than you should and your body's all firing and your body's awake when it should be sleeping, then guess what? It's going to try and peak yourself down. So if you should be sitting in the middle, but yet you're all, you're all the way up here with sleep, like lack of sleep, staying up late, eating the wrong foods, your body's gonna plummet you down here and then it's gonna bring you back up here. So yes, Mondays are gonna suck for most of you that are having bad weekends, but usually I find by Wednesday or Thursday, those people start to feel better, and then by Thursday they feel good, and then by Friday they feel great, and then what do they do? They rinse and repeat their bad habits on Saturdays, making them feel off and making them feel exhausted. So there we have it. Three reasons why your energy probably sucks right now. Number one is that on a seven day average, you're probably below the six hours of sleep minimum. Your goal should be seven to eight hours of sleep. If you're able to balance that out on the weekend, then awesome. But make sure that on average, between the seven days, you're getting seven to eight hours of sleep every single night. 
Number two is maybe you're probably consuming too much coffee and these sleepy receptors are being overproduced, leaving your energy levels to be zapped. And then number three, when the weekend hits and we throw our routine off, we gotta understand that this is a part of the process. Monday, Tuesdays are probably going to suck. By Wednesday, you're probably tired because Monday and Tuesday were so hard on you. By Thursday, Friday, you're ready to let loose, shut your brain off, and by Saturday, you're back up to the late nights, the booze, and the wrong foods. So this time around, this weekend, guys, you're going to change that pattern, and you're going to give the video a like, hit the subscribe button, and comment in the comment section, what do you do to zap your energy back up?